everybody coming back at you with another video and you know obviously you could tell from the title it is going to be a little glow up video it could I probably should be making a tack room organization because uh, it just gets dirty so fast and you can't even see the other side like what I'm looking at right now it's like full-on mess so yeah that's but that's that's it for another day not today Today, we are going to be giving Alice a little makeover because at the moment, she looks a little bit wild. Her mane has grown out. I'd say it's probably, like, inches-wise, it's probably six inches at least. I don't know. I can't do math. So, it's probably somewhere around... It's just really long. It's really long. Um, and then we'll start to shed her out a little bit because it's spring so we're gonna try to get that summer coat going um and her back legs are just a little gross and her feet are muddy so yeah today's a little glow up video but i'm gonna show you the tools i have so we gotta bring out the good scissors not the like ones i use you know for the hay string to cut the string like these are the good ones and they're metallic so that's like even better like, listen to that. Oh, it's so nice. If you guys don't even understand, it's so nice. Um, anyways, standard little, what's, purple shampoo. You know, the gray horses. Um, got some mane and tail conditioner. Tail's a little crusty. And I just love this so much. It's so, like, the, the bottle's really slippery. It's a mane and tail detangler. Um, I'll probably use this mostly on her mane because her tail, like, I can use the conditioner. Um, but yeah, I got this at the Maryland Five Star. When was that? October. So I have not used it because in the winter, like, you know, who cares? Her mane, like, I just let her mane grow, whatever. But now we're coming up to show season. Show season. Um, hopefully we will be doing whew, um, the same two phase that we did last year um which isn't a vlog except this time i'll make the vlog a little shorter because i don't know i feel like i filmed even too much for me like the editing that was so annoying <laughs> um but yeah so i feel like i've talked enough let's start to get alice looking a little, <laughs> a little bit better okay so at the site of literal soap she has fled the scene so i have to grab a halter to go catch her <laughs> All right, so we have caught her. <laughs> She's in a different um, blankets today because last night we had a ton of rain. So her blanket soaked through and now she has this little one. This was like her old one, but it's just a little bit small. So we used it on teaspoon. But she, it like, when I first put it on, I like couldn't get her butt. Like her butt was like sticking out. Anyways, this is the before. So the legs are looking a little, a little crusty. Her mane, as you can see, quite long, a little dirty. We haven't even seen under her. Oh no, she's trying to eat me. <laughs> ah! Um, legs, muddy. You see the little setup we got over there? Some brushes. The hoof oil looks disgusting, I know. Um, tail. Um, so yeah. So we have work to do but just look at her she's so cute <laughs> all right so the first thing that we're going to address is her crusty little legs so we got the cozy queen bucket um and we're gonna do some sponging i think it's dolly
there's the remains. Oh my gosh. She looks so much less feral. It's blowing in the wind right now, her mane. But <laughs> it's looking fairly neat. I'll probably go in for like touch-ups later on. Look at her, she's so cute. Okay, she's back in her paddock now. I know I'm gonna regret that, but it's fine because she'd have to go back at some point. Anyways, here's the mane. I'll probably go back and trim it up a bit, but she was a little bit impatient. Like she needed to go and eat food and come back in her paddock. She was getting very impatient. Um, but anyways, put the blanket back on. Look at her little tail. Oh, she could be a hair influencer. <laughs> it's kind of stained yellow, but that's fine. Who cares? Her legs, I couldn't get like that stain. It was just like fully stained, but again, oh well. But she's gorgeous. <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually about to ride now. So that is the end of Alice's glow up. Um, I'll probably have put in a final like before and after transition as well. But yeah, she's gorgeous. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you really liked the video and maybe this is your sign to go give your horse a glow up because we all got to do it. I mean, it's going into summer or spring, I don't even know, but yeah, it's time to get those horses ready for the event season or show season or just summer in general, whatever, <laughs> whatever you're going to be doing. Anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling now, but See you in the next video. Bye.